Our platoon commander is a strange fellow. When the sun rises over the battlefield, he says that it's someone burning a tire at a far-off checkpoint. The moon to him is a barrel of a cannon, and the sea is melted lead. Why is it salty? Because it's made of our tears, sweat, piss, blood, it flows through us. A strange fellow, I say. But today, he outdid himself. In the early morning, he entered our tent and said, That's it, no more war today. That's what they announced on TV. War is over for three whole days. Here at the front, we've learned there are two kinds of people. People and TV people. We dislike TV people. They seem fake. They're poor actors. Actually, we don't even have TV. And if we did, we'd just watch cartoons, more truthful, or in the world of animals, more interesting. We were getting our weapons and ammo ready when our weird platoon commander shocked us with this news. The machine gun belt froze in the hands of Gunner Vasil from Kremenets and his loader Sashko from Boyarka. Then it bristled like the back of a prehistoric beast. The hand grenades peeking out of the pouch of Grenadier Max from Luhansk dove back in like scared kittens. Have you ever tried stopping a high-speed train by placing a penny on the tracks? Have you ever told the sun, wait, don't move, I've so much to do today? Have you ever begged a woman in labor? We've been snowed in, the midwife can't make it. Hold on for three more days? The child must be born, the train must reach its destination, the sun must keep rolling like a burning tire. And when it's gone, the moon will take its place as a cannon barrel, and night will fall like ash. On the first day of no war, we lost our machine gun loader, Sashko from Boyarka, and Grenadier Max from Luhansk. The bullets came from the other side of war like angry hornets, stung Sashko in the neck and Max in the heart. Maybe the other side doesn't have a strange platoon commander bringing weird news. Maybe they watch a different TV channel. Maybe their TV set is broken.